kid. Seriously. Hey, Luke Neitzel. Hey, what? Did you notice that on May 20th, the Avengers are going to be back in town? No way! Yeah, they're going to take on the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. Does this latest trailer, the one that came out in the Super Bowl, make you excited to see it? What'd you like? What would you change? Yeah, it, it's it's exciting. It's about what I would want from a trailer for this movie. I hope we don't get too much more plot or details like that in the upcoming trailers, which I'll probably not watch anyway. Uh, what I wanted from this was to see all these characters that we've been getting to know for the last 10 years coming together. So, you know, when you get the shots and it's Doctor Strange with Bruce Banner and Tony Stark or Thor with the Guardians of the Galaxy, those are the things that I kind of wanted to get with just kind of that glimpse of these characters coming together. But I don't want, I don't, I don't like a lot of plot in my trailers for things that are kind of known quantities. So they haven't given us too much of that. So that, that's what excited me the most about it. Things that I liked, the music, the music got me right in the feelings, gave that sort of like sort of ominous present. They went back to the original Avengers song and that got me right back into it. And it kind of like underscores the seriousness with it. And it feels like the end. This feels like I know that there's another movie after this, but this is the beginning of the end for the characters that we love. There's going to be a changeover. And I don't know. I'm excited to see it. Kind of. Because I don't want to deal with the fact that some of my favorite characters aren't going to be around for very much longer. What did what would you have changed? Uh, I'm I'm a little nervous about the Thanos CGI. Yeah, that was he, what I was gonna say too. He's been bad in a few movies, and we see him, and he looks okay. But they do voiceover with him, but you don't see him actually move his mouth or really do anything other than kind of walk forward and put a stone in his gauntlet. So that could be a little iffy. This is a ton of characters. Part of my concern is is do you have enough time for everyone, especially if you're trying to give a lot of equal time and set other things up. I mean, they don't even show us, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp and some of the other characters in there. So I'm a little nervous about how much they're packing it in, but at this stage, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, their their misses are a lot less frequent than their hits. Did you think it worked well in Civil War with all the scream time? Yeah, I think it worked perfectly in Civil War. And it is the Russo brothers again. So I think we should be probably in good shape. But even with Civil War, this is you know, 10 times more characters. You have the entire cast of Black Panther in there. You have, you know, the Wasp. You have Doctor Strange and all that, plus Guardians. You have a lot of new characters in there, so it's going to be a big, big story. Have we seen what the runtime is? No, we haven't. At least I haven't seen it. I mean, okay. that doesn't mean it's not released. I'm not as worried about that because fundamentally I think the story of the Avengers after the Avengers movie has been about two characters. It's about Steve Rogers and Tony Stark, and I think they'll stick to that and use everybody else as sort of like salt and pepper with that so i'm not too worried but i am worried about the cg you talked about thanos the other guy i'm worried about spider-man doesn't look like it moves like a real dude and i know that i'm gonna get burned by this and people are gonna be upset but uh that that does not look good to me and i would say that one of my complaints about black panther was sometimes he looked a little rubbery when he was doing some of his full cgi things so that is a, a little bit worrisome to me the other thing and i'm sure it'll get corrected is Captain America's two shields are a terrible design. They look like, like shit. Them. No. Yeah. Um, what I would say, too, is stuff with the CGI has gotten passed before. I mean, you say things will be corrected, but let's think about this. If you watch Age of Ultron, that intro scene, there is a lot of bad CGI in that intro scene in Age of Ultron. I think, I don't I don't buy into the myth very much anymore that they give us incomplete CGI in trailers. I really? think what we get ends up being the final product more often than not. I know Green Lantern didn't but that was a long time ago now and i I think most of the time we get them and that was my concern with black panther i had mentioned that when the first trailer came out and but the spider amazing spider-man movies i remember watching that going oh that's not so good maybe Mm -hmm. they'll fix it and then it still wasn't very good right the last thing i want to talk about is i'm still upset that we never got the trailer that was released at comic-con one of the things that they talked about in that trailer and spoilers uh if you care about something i wonder why you're listening to this but there was Thanos was like throwing pieces of what, what they thought was the moon, and so that's how I know that it, what we never got the trailer that they got at Comic Con, and that pisses me off. I feel, you know, since I can't afford like a ticket to go to San Diego and to sit in uh, lines for hours on end, I don't get to see the same trailers that other fans do. I, I just think that's kind of bullshit, and I'm not. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta give those people something. Otherwise, why would they go? Why would they pay what they pay to go and do all those things if they don't get something a little special? I would counter that by saying that they have been given the exact same thing that everybody else is given, 
and have still gone in the past, and so that this is a new phenomenon where they're getting like special trailers. Uh, maybe for some Marvel movies, but there's always been stuff that's been Comic Con only footage, depending on some movies. Plus, you're still gonna go to the movie anyway. Yeah, so. fuck you, you're in. <laughs>